Hello everybody, Sigrev2, and today I am here to play one of the most legendary games of all time. Yes, I'm talking about Catamount Dimension. Specifically the reroll version, available on Steam and uh, all these other fun other locations like PlayStation 4 and Steam and Switch. I already said Steam, it's just like PC. Ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this intro a million thousand times. I've got my controller set up. I've got audio glitches up the wazoo. I... Oh, man. Ah, hello, Prince. This is the king. Long time no see. We thought today would be a good day for rolling. The Katamari, the prince. Where the first rolls, the second follows. Roll, roll, roll. For that purpose alone, we went to the bother. The bother making the space. The king of all cosmos going to the bother just for rolling a Katamari. Just for that, went to the bother. So, he would like for you to start the rolling, but, but... First things first. But, first things first. Does the prince like vibration? Meaning the moving and the shaking. No, no, I hate it. Plain is best. I love going on natural. If that's what you say, what you declare, then you can turn the vibration back on and off with the back button on the controller. All clear? Yes? Oh, good. We shall see you later. Uh, well, for starters, I'm using a PS4 controller, uh, not whatever this controller is. I don't know. I'm just a simple, simple man. I don't know what this controller is. Yeah, I'm using my PS4 controller. I tried doing this earlier using the keyboard. It was an actual nightmare, so I decided against that. Hopefully, uh, it can be retooled. I think maybe it can register it as a PS4. I don't know. It doesn't really matter as long as it all works. Oh, 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 I forgot. I should be voicing him. Next challenge is charge and roll. Quick turn, look and jump. Okay. Careful, careful with the look and the jump. Not easy to do when you're rolling around in a hurry. We shall see you later. Now, for those of you that know me, know anything about me, I fucking love this series to death. Uh, I've played pretty much every. Oh God, played. <laughs> Whoops, forgot that uh, the uh, the cord I have connecting my uh, controller to my PC sucks balls. I've played all of these games as far as I'm aware, except maybe like the iOS one and the Vita one. Fucking love this series to death. I have pretty much have all the games. I'm missing the PSP one, me and my Katamari, but I have played that through other means. It is very fun. This whole series is just a blast. And I just, you know, I, I, when I saw that they were bringing the first game to modern consoles, I was all hype about it. I was super hype about it, actually. Uh, can I pause? Oh. I was super hype about it. Really, really hype about it. Popped it digitally, physically on PS4, on Switch, and now I have—I've uh, oh, had it on PC for a minute. But uh, just figured today I'd install it and play it again. But I do have my concerns with uh, this particular port, uh, just in general on pretty much most all of the consoles that it's on. They all seem to suffer from very similar. It's not going to be good for stocks. This particular version, it, it runs really weird in some spots, but we'll, get, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Until then... No. It was indeed not a dream. We really did it. The king of all cosmos has really done it. A sky full of stars. We broke it. Yes, we were naughty. Completely naughty. It'd be great if I had like one of those like uh, Streamlabs boards where I can throw on an echo on my voice there. Completely naughty, naughty, naughty. So, so very sorry. But just between you and us, it felt quite good. Not that we can remember very clearly, but we were in all nature's embrace. We felt the beauty of all things and felt love for all. That's how it was. Did you see? We smiled a genuine smile. Did you see? The stars splintering in perfect beauty. So many there used to be. Almost a nuisance, but... Now there's almost but darkness. 
Almost but not. Yeah, I can read. I swear to God, I can read. <laughs> this is but a dream, but a beautiful one. But that miraculous, fabulous moment has passed. It's over. We came to and found everyone furious. Even the king of all cosmos was not spared their wrath. Really, everybody was irate. So anyway, Pee Wee Prince, hurry up and bring back the glorious starry sky. Our problem, your problem. Yes, you owe us your existence. We collect on the debt. Yes. Hand in hand, always there. Yes. The very definition of the father-son bond. Yes. All right, then get cracking. Start off with the biggest banger in the fucking game, Earth. Of course, I'm talking about this song, You Are Smart. This soundtrack is is peak soundtrack. If you ever manage to find a copy of this soundtrack in the wild or online, I cannot recommend enough that you cop it. But until then, things are full of usual here on Earth. Let's imagine that made sense. Ugh, so small here. Small as ever. We didn't notice. Not one jot. But with all the stars and all. What is that? That body? That physique? Could you really be our son? <laughs> I've got it. Build yourself up while you roll the Katamari. Work out and get bigger. Yes, indeed. Don't presume to take the escalator up to the throne just because you're the prince. <laughs> Tangent. First time on Earth means no worrying about time. We think that you'll come and... Hey, now. It's not that kind of game. We think we'll come and pick you up when that Katamari is about 10 centimeters. Ooh, just remembered, many things live here, scurrying around and generally getting in the way. One of these sneaks up behind you, and an alert comes up on the lower left. You should try not to bump into anything alive, but don't worry about it too much. It won't end the game or anything, so just relax and roll. Good luck, insulin prince. Oh! Oh yeah! Alright, so I'm noticing it might just be my... Oh, no, it's definitely my controller just being a little actual entire con. So I'm noticing that the game's running a little bit laggy. I'm pretty sure it might just be my laptop acting up. I don't have the highest end specs. But, I mean, it's, for the most part, aside from it kind of eating my jumps every now and again, it's not too bad. I'll definitely take this. God, it just feels so good to play this game again if you're not playing it for a minute. Now, I am a little bit rusty. Like I said, it's been a minute. And my controller keeps unplugging itself, ladies and gentlemen. This is the absolute funnest thing imaginable. I love it. I love how my controller just sucks, and so does this cord. And basically my entire life. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my shit. Please. Oh my god. I'm about to get angry out here real quick. See, that wouldn't have happened if my controller just decided to fucking play nice. Alright, 10 centimeters. Let's go, Prince. Oh, you made a 10 centimeter Katamari. How fabulous. We'd forgotten all about that, so you're mostly clear on everything we assume. Everyone on Earth is very nice, so they'll be very helpful. Yes, they'll let you roll everything up with a smile. Yes, well, so possibly a wave. Anyway, let's go home for now. Oh yes, almost forgot. Completely slipped the mind. When rolling on Earth, there are a few more things to be careful of. You cannot roll up objects larger than your catamari. Crashing into objects that are larger than you will result in you being unable to read things in the correct order. No! Ten centimeters. Uh, don't, uh... Uh, we know how this is. But I do got that trophy, though. Let's go. It's always nice to get them trophies, them achievements. What? You forgot your own planet? Really? You are, are you serious? So you're not just small, but a bit slow, too. As a parent, we cannot feel but partly responsible. This is your home planet. 
planet where you live. Here, you can look at the stars, save the game, and do lots of other things. You can even visit Earth and the Space Musher. Space Musher. Just by pressing the L or R buttons. Roll your Katamari around on Earth. Visit the Space Mushroom to complete. Compete against your cousins. Complete against your cousins. Yes, this is a Battle Royale game, folks. I tricked you. And that's about it. Your smallness. You get a grip. Your absent mindedness. Yes. Believe it or not, this is not my first rodeo, but I will save in the nah. See, when it's not the actual game, it runs very smoothly. In fact, a little too smoothly. I am concerned for my well-being, so let's go to the Scratch Mushroom, see? I do have some homies here, but I don't have Ultimate Homie just yet. Uh, definitely in this game, though. It kind of sucks. Like, you get the cousins, you can only use them in multiplayer. You can't actually use them in the normal game like you can in the later games but that's something that's like that, that's an that's a product of it being the first game I, obviously they I, I doubt they really thought that far ahead they were just like all right well, we got a concept let's go with it and this is where we'll be doing most of the traversing it's it's lagging up a bit over here i don't understand what's going on with that all right so controller is going to be acting up so I'm going to do Mega Star 1 and then we'll see how this operates uh, in video form and then you can let me know if you want me to continue this series I will try to get a better chord so this stupid controller plays nicely to me so that way you don't have anger yacht all over the camera all over the microphone all over the MIC have you been to Thailand it's all about kicking in Muay Thai you know Muay Thai kickboxing Oh yeah, almost forgot. Hurry up and make a big star. So I'm replaying the very first actual level, not the tutorial. I don't think you can even go back to that. It gives me what? Well, like it gives me like like not even five minutes to do this. It shouldn't even give me that. Four minutes. Okay. Any longer than that, King of Baba. Okay. Now the actual theme song of the game. Not you are smart. Unfortunately. I used to be really good at this game, just ducking and weaving, shucking and jiving all over the place. But I'm more used to playing the later games, especially We Love Katamari. That one, especially. That one and uh, the PS3 one. Katamari Forever, I almost just called it Beautiful Katamari, but no, that's the 360. And the controller is doing the thing again, and I'm just, I'm stuck on vibrate, but let's go. I do apologize for that constantly happening. It's user error. It's definitely not an issue with the game, that is. Whoa! That was a massive lag. I don't know what the hell just happened there. My laptop is running off of mediocrity and depression but I definitely yeah. in, in, in a minute exactly if I don't get the meteor for doing it fast enough I might cry so with the tip of this game every single time I try to make a statement say anything okay so the main trick of this game is to just constantly move forward. If you want to keep up your speed, constantly move forward, constantly do the dip around like that. You don't, you don't want to have a controller that sucks balls and that constantly lags up your game and your controller and just makes your life miserable to experience. So, one of the main issues I have with the very first game is how very easy it is to just lose items in your Katamari. Um, you accidentally bump into something, you will lose half of your ship. It feels like it's genuinely insufferable. Um, especially with the later levels, there's been multiple times, especially in this particular port, where I'll end up just getting stuck in something. Just just getting stuck and like half of my stuff 
just gets yeeted from my Kanemari, and I can't move anywhere, even if I get, like, just small enough so I should be able to move out. No, it, it won't let me. Ah, that's, that's a new one, too. But, of course, I mean... I mean, I try to make the excuse, oh, well, it's the first game, but this is a modern port of the first game. It's not just a one-to-one -one coding. There's very clearly new stuff done here, and it makes them not fixing, optimizing that kind of stuff all the more confusing. Like, it's, this isn't your first rodeo anymore. It would make a lot more sense if what they did was try to... You know, they, they have the source code, clearly. They're able to modify and put this game on the modern consoles. Right, I'm, I'm focusing more on the fact that... Uh, okay, I'm focusing on everything but the game right now. I'm sorry. I will try to keep the commentary going. It is just... Right now, I I played this game a million times. I always forget that there's actually stuff up there. That I'm sure there's someone here who's managed to collect the cookie things over there. Maybe this bad boy here. So 18 centimeters, seven millimeters. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I could do better, um, but I'm definitely not going to retry that until much later on. I'm going to look for a better core, because I know I got one round. I do apologize for spending most of that round complaining, bitching, and moaning about my controller shutting off, but I can... Hopefully you can understand why I'm a little bit upset about that. 16 centimeters, 7 millimeters. We are moved to tears by the size of this thing. This is so incredible. Happy, happy, so happy. We want to turn it into a star right now. You did that fast, dude. You did that go awfully fast. That was fantastic. That was so speedy and so smart. It was. It would be like a shooting star, like. Brr, brr. Fine, boom, right there. The thing you collect the most of is. Alright, Earth is really full of things. Hmm. Do, do I want to create a star dust? I think I want to create a star dust. No, come on, now. come on now, kid. You go from the sugar star. To the saccharine star and creamy. Look at that one minute exactly. All right, so I'm gonna save the game here. I'm gonna upload this as a test. If you guys, you know, want to see me play more of this game, maybe start over from scratch when I'm more focused and have less distractions on my hand. And you know, let me know in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. I would love to do more gaming type videos. Just me shooting the shit, playing games, less editing. Uh, sometimes I do live streams. Uh, that usually just depends on the mood. But I've been in a good mood lately. So, Katamari 8 up. Links in the description below if you want to check me out on the Twitterverse or listen to some of my music. Would greatly appreciate that. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Again, any comments or questions, recommendations, tips, tricks, trades, cheat codes. Give me the cheat codes so I can, I can finally fucking play as Spider-Man in this game. And you know what? With that being said, hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't be stupid. I almost forgot that. That's supposed to be my catchphrase too, and I almost forgot it. What a fucking travesty.